Hey everyone, this video is about camera shake zoom out transition preset. In this video, I'll be talking about how to apply this transition preset and what you have to do before applying this transition preset. The first thing you have to do is create a new sequence. So I move into the file, then I'll click new after that sequence. Now it is time to expand the digital SLR and select 1080 25 frames, which is the best for this preset. Well, now I'm heading to the settings section. Editing mode will be customs. Now I need to change the frame size. I'm gonna set it to 1080 and 1920. So it is 25 frame sequence. Now we can hit OK. We have already a few pictures in the project and I have to drag all the pictures to the timeline on by on. Okay, it is important to share a thing, whatever the size of the pictures to get a better output from this preset. As our sequence settings is 1080 and 1920, so it will be the best if we use the same size of the pictures. You can change the size of the pictures here in Prima Pro, but this is not the right way in this case. So I'm gonna show you how you can change the size of the pictures inside Photoshop. Okay, we are now in Photoshop. To take a new document, we have to go to the file, then click new. After that, click customs. Now I need to set the size of the document. So I'm gonna set it to again 1080 and 1920. Now we can click on create to complete this part. This portion, we have to open a picture. So I'm going to the file and click open, then select the picture. After that, click open. So the picture we have open is here. Now make sure that move tool is selected. Now I'm gonna drag this picture to our new document. Now you have to hit the Ctrl plus T key on the keyboard at the same time to get pre transform. Now you have complete freedom to size your picture. In this part, we have to save the picture. So we are heading to the file, then select save as. So we have to select a type. I'm gonna select JPG. Then you can type a name here. I'm gonna type it photo 10 and click save. After that, hit OK. This is so easy process to change the size of the pictures inside Adobe Photoshop. Now we can get back to Premiere Pro. Okay, it is time for the timeline. So I'm dragging all the pictures from project panel to timeline. Now we need to change the duration of the images. By default, it is five seconds. Well, hold down the shift key on the keyboard, then select all the images one by one using the mouse. Now right click any of the selected image and select speed and duration. At the top, we have speed and duration. Here is a link. It means they are connected to each other. If you change the duration, the speed will change according to the duration and it is not a fact for the images but it has an impact on the videos so i'm gonna unlink it when you unlink it then the speed will not change even you change the duration although it has no impact on the images but i'm gonna unlink it as practice well it is time to set the duration to around one and a half seconds as it is 25 frames timeline so here are 25 frames that mean one second now i'll set the duration to around one second and 12 frames or something you can decrease the duration a little bit if you want the transition faster after every change we can hit ok here are a few gaps among the clips so we have to delete all the gaps together so to make it faster i have to select all the clips all together using mouse so i'm gonna do it right now after that i'm moving to the sequence and select close gap to delete all the gaps all together at the same time. Ok, it is time to talk about the preset. You have to download the preset. Download link of this preset in the description box. After download, you need to extract the preset. And finally, here is your preset inside the folder. Now head to the effects and right click on the preset. Then select import preset. Now click the preset file and click open to import the preset file. Now expand the preset. Here is the preset file that we have imported right now. So everyone, it is the final part of the tutorial. In this part, you have to apply the transition preset to the images. You can apply the preset to the images one by one, or you can select all the images and apply the preset once. After applying, the preset will appear in the effect controls. If you want, you can customize the preset. As it is showing the red line, so we have to pre-render our sequence. After rendering, the transitions will be smoother. I hope you will get better service from the preset. If you have any questions about the preset, please let me know down in the comment section. I'll be back in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.